Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Point Year 1 Edition. My name is Demobius. Last episode of my playthrough, we killed our first Scylla. And we are uh, in the process of performing an autopsy on it, considering once you complete that, everything under your scanner range, uh, every Padoran structure under the scanner range, I should say it completely, should be revealed. So uh, yeah, we hopefully get getting a lot of but more structures that we can destroy uh, soon. Uh, yeah, the destruction of that Scylla did not go without uh, sacrifice though, we lost a uh, assault. So, and this uh, this team is uh, on their way to Phoenix Point where they're gonna pick up a replacement and where they're, they're gonna give them some uh, time to recuperate because uh, the Scylla hits pretty damn hard. The melee attacks uh, that she did did 200 damage and uh, even though their uh, health pools could, you know, absorb a tick and uh, the armor reduced it by a little bit, some of them didn't have a lot left afterwards. So, uh, that's Manticore 1. Manticore 2 was on the way towards, uh, yeah, they're recovering from uh, some stamina. Manticore 3, we are going to, uh, yeah, I don't know, I think send back towards this place. Manticore 4 is here scanning. So, what I want to do today is, I am not entirely sure, but let's wait and see what this uh, research reveals. I have uh, put a uh, laser pistol for our berserker up on the cube, considering I think the uh, added range might benefit him greatly. So what do we have here? A New Jericho listing post. Okay. Uh, you know what, let's do, do nothing. Hey, they both just like that. Why? It was covered. Uh, unless we also... Oh, not sure what's up with the camera. Unless we also revealed the location of that uh, listing post of everybody else. So, let, I don't think I actually read this the last time over, so let's see. Alright, so this, uh, this bit here is interesting. Jewel melded cannons. I haven't read seen out of cannons. Mist launcher I also hasn't seen, but I suspect that it can deploy some mist over a distance. I don't know what Sonic Blast or Goo Launcher is. Deployment of Mindfragus we have seen. So I thought maybe that's a viv section that uh, allows you to automatically detect everything, because it doesn't seem to have had that uh, effect that I thought it would have. Either that, or there are no Pandoran uh, structures underneath the scanning ranges, which I find uh, highly unlikely. Now, having said that, let's assign this. Uh, between episodes, I've given him proper camo. So, uh, let's open up on board the Manticore, and let's give them some time to recuperate their injuries. Now, Manticore 4 is busy. You went back to base, and we want to keep you in this vicinity. Oh. Anyway, when it's on track, where is that? Over here. Uh, they should be able to defend that on their own. That said, let's see if we have a nearby Manticore, shall we? Uh, I thought we had another Manticore nearby, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So let's see, where is this attack exactly? Over here. You know. We're getting a lot of attacks over here, so it might be a good idea to have a Manticore patrol this bit of space as well. Um, I think I'm gonna send this team uh, back into the field. Now, uh, let's see here. They have all recovered from the wounds and they're building up some stamina. But they have further true stamina, so that means that uh, we can assign them some, send them on, off on some missions. But I really did thought we had another. Manticore close. Oh, wait, that's this one, I guess. Uh, yeah, actually, the distance. The, the difference in distance is not that great, so this should be fine. So, let's advance. Hey, wait a minute. What was this at the top of the screen? Participate in a poker tournament. Sure. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Oh, oh okay. 
Uh, we do want, want the team to be present there for that attack. So let's send this team over. So they're attacking Phoenix Logistics B. That is this one. Yeah, we don't want uh, oh, we want all of these things uh, being piled up. Construction, construction. This was a helmet being completed. So if a helmet is completed, that means that the laser pistol is also already completed. Uh, let's look for our berserker. There you are. And we got ourselves a... Yeah. A pistol for you. Uh, that's the same amount of damage as, as our uh, cypher handgun, except it has a lot longer range and it's a lot more ammo efficient. Alright, so we're going being attacked in our bases now. Which also seems to be... Uh, I think a sign that we are reaching uh, the end game. Oh, oh, it's missile propellers being completed. All right, and we're also having uh, uh, pistols. Uh, the, uh, the the uh, the Harras uh, being completed. So let's make sure to assign people their weapons. Yeah, I'm going to take a, take a quick break to make sure that everyone is equipped with the weapons that I want on them. Okay, I think in, in this case we are going to give you the Hera pistol. You are not proficient with it, but that is fine. And that we're going to give you the Neuraiser. There we go. So this squad has a little bit more of a uh, stunning uh, opportunities as well. And before I forget, let's check to see if we even have... Oh, we have more than enough space in our containment. As you can see here. Uh, yeah. Alright. That's advanced time. Where is this? Ah, look. Very good. Let us see what we are. I do like the squad. Let us see here what we can do for this haven. Oh, my most favorite map to play on. Jesus Christ, I hate this one. Um, right. Okay, that was pointless. Oh, there seems to be a priest up here. Let's uh, jump one of our heads over to him. Him, her, I don't know what gender this priest is. And we can tell by the name uh, or the, the voice. Does have two medkits though, which uh, I'm sure you will find the use for. <laughs> uh, why don't we? So let's first check what, what, what abilities this uh, priest has. So mind control induce panic. Uh, can we check what kind of... No, we can't check the inventory. But we can check what kind of head mutation it has, a synod. But th I think this is a passive one, considering it's not listed in the uh, abilities. So let's move you over to the edge, see if we don't happen to see any uh, Pandorans, but uh, I don't think we do see any Pandorans. Hmm. Oh. oh, we are not fighting Pandorans. We're fighting the Forsaken. All right. We. Uh, yep. All right. But well, we did gain two allies this turn, but we haven't really. Ah. I'm just in a spot where I had an over and for what is never mind. Okay, it seems like they're all going on Overwatch. Hmm. All right. Let us see. Let us see what kind of angles we got. All right. All right. You got two very good shots. So I think with you, we're going to try and take out this one. Because if, if you're already... 
Okay, I, I have no clue where the fuck that shot went. Okay, this one wasn't alerted yet. But he is on Overwatch. So, uh, so apparently that's also a uh, thing. Okay, uh, we just shot with you. And you don't got a shot at him. I think we want to kill him first. So let's move a little bit to the side. And, and there we go. That's one for second out for the can. We got three assaults. Hmm. So you're close enough that we can do something with you next turn. And honestly, I feel jumping down several floors should like do some fall damage. And when I, when I think it was one of the leg mutations or one of the bionics that said it negated fall damage. I always assumed that it was because you would get fall damage, but you don't. So sorry for my uh, weird tangent here, but it always struck me as a little bit weird. Uh, you know, if we put you over here, they might have some shots at you, but considering your heavy armor, it's not going to be—it's not going to be likely to do much. Okay, he's dashing in. Okay, that looked like he was searching for a uh, for an enemy. Oh, you're gonna fire at my far away snipers, really now. <laughs> All right. Let's see what he is gonna do. He has a shotgun. He has even shorter range. He's on Overwatch. Perfect. This means that we can fire in his face, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, except that we can't really see him. Yeah, no, not not, not without re relocating first. Uh, thing is, I don't know if it's gonna trigger an overwatch or not. But considering it's a shotgun and at, at extreme range. Alright. Alright, disabled his arm. Now, I don't know if he has regeneration. Which he does, so his arm is gonna be uh, back in working condition next turn. Holy crap, look at all these turn. These threats. Uh, yeah, do you still have one action point left? Yes, that means you can go on Overwatch with your shoddy. Right, let's take a look at our second sniper. How does your shot look from here? Pretty damn good. Oh, it's stored shotgun, shame. Go over towards that cover and put down to Overwatch. I don't really think it's gonna do much, but. Mm. So, where can we dash up to? Uh, okay, we can't actually jump down here. It's just, that's something I didn't know. That's it. Or hell, you cannon. <laughs> So naturally it fucking whiffs. Yeah. Okay. That was complete and utter bullshit, but... Honestly something that I should have been expecting. So... Come at us, bro. Okay, I don't know where that shot went, but I think to another postal code. Same as that one. Okay, let's put you in a position where you're gonna... Well, at the very least, you're gonna return people's uh, will points, actually. A little bit more in the corner, yes. Now, now everyone here is covered by that. Well, I was gonna run up, shoot him in the face, but it, I think he has a very heavily armored face. Oh, that's Torso. Armored head for the armor. 
Yeah, uh, we're not going to be doing much in regards to them soon, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know actually. Could try and put him in a position where you can fire at him. But actually, let's do it like this. So you can fire at him. And then we still got some movement points to move you back so that I can't actually Not fire at you. And he should already have. Yeah, there we go. Sneaky, sneaky. So, uh. I'm actually, actually sure. I'm supposed to. Can we jump down here? No, we can also not jump down here either. Uh, what we can do. Stash with the his position. Uh, he's gonna have his shotgun back next turn, so maybe, maybe not. Uh. So let's put you into a position where you can jump down next turn and still use your weapon. Yeah, his arm is re enabled. But he still seems to be bleeding. Okay, I'm not sure how that works. Well, regardless, they're healing each other. tough are you let's see how tough are you you are gonna be after this yeah I thought so Ooh, and they dropped the weapon or something seems to be green meth kit maybe uh, okay so what shall we do with these two I can jump up here, or uh, can I? I can jump up here. So maybe jump up here and then that will work, right? Ne neutralize our options just a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can. Ah, there we go. Let's see if we can get a hit with the L2. Uh, that's it's kind of crappy shot, but eh. yeah, pretty much what, what you would expect. That's all right. Uh, let us move up our berserker friend. Except that he really doesn't have much of. Why can't he jump down here or something? Oh, because they also have these curves. Okay, never mind. Uh, uh Yeah, let's move you up there. So you can support the front lines. Mm. I would prefer keeping everybody uh in one piece. One is holding a med kit rather than a weapon, so we can safely fire at him. Okay, that's a good thing too, because that was <laughs> that was kind of useless. All right, sniper. Yeah, no, no, that, that. Still a quick aim. We still got a few will points to spare. Hope I can find cover. There we go. How the hell did he return fire? What is the perception? What? 53! Yeah, okay, okay. Fair enough. There's a perceptor head. Ah. Damn it. Plus 14 perception. Fucking hell. 
Yeah, okay, makes sense. Fair enough. Moving. Okay, here you can make a shot with that sniper of yours. Okay, it's really not our day for the precision shot, it seems. Yeah, okay, that, that grenade didn't even pierce armor. Let's do this. I like your spirit. So he won't be returning fire here at all. And just for the hell of it, I, I want at least one health you hit. Come on. There we go. At the same time, a little bit overkill, but I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see. Yeah, just as I thought, we recovered that med kit. But uh, hey. Yeah, we know. Actually, completely forgot to check where that mission is. Oh, that's that's quite nearby, actually. Uh, considering we have some people with injuries, and I'm lo looking at Yuri here, and uh, yes, I'm, he's missing 60 health, which is a, a rather big chunk. Uh, let's see, where's the nearby place? Well, we're going over here, and all right, so. I'm not entirely sure which base is closest, this one or this one, but let me check where the, uh, okay, you guys are over here, and we want to keep you in that area. Uh, if memory serves me right, we are flying around with Manticore 4, and you guys have to stay here to protect against uh, the uh, incoming attack, so let's bring these guys over towards this base, considering we got no team nearby this location in case we get an attack there. Oh, what do we get? Mr. Peller. Alright, and uh, a new sniper rifle was completed. I also added a, a golem helmet to the construction queue because I want to give our berserker here a little bit more effective armor. And I also want to give them these legs. Considering they give them more uh, more speed, they're more heavily armored than the, or have the same armor as normal legs do, but they also add to their mobility in another way, namely with that rocket loop. So let's augment. There we go. As soon as this helmet is done, we'll also equip that on the uh, on the berserker. But I think we're going to get an attack before that. Uh, oh no, wait, helmet's done. So where are you? Uh, score pass ah, score pass there. So let's go to armor. There we go. Now she looks properly armored up. Uh, she has a decent range attack, and when things get up close and personal, she can whack, whack them with that uh, mace of hers for uh, for an action point. So that's very nice. And they're over here. Yeah. I forgot which team was over here. That was the blue team. All right. So, because I guess we are going to get an attack there, right about now. Oh, it's actually the first base defense mission for uh, for this campaign. Apparently. So let's see. Where is everybody? Because the attack is coming from over here. All right. So let's first start with our sniper over here. Where do you got a shot at? Well, let's instantly start by taking his arm off. Excellent. Alright, so we're done with the sniper. Where do we bring you? So far, let's first see. We got two tritons and an Archon. And somehow I do not believe that this is going to be the only ones that are going to be attacking us. Uh, 
That's it. During these missions, I always find it uh, worthwhile to keep people in uh, these positions as well. And I think in this case, it's probably a good idea to do that with our uh, with our heavies. Okay, let's dash you back up. And this is the the trooper that replaced the one that uh, that we lost uh, last episode. All right, that was a nice volley. All right, you wait over there. And where the hell are you? Oh, well, luckily we upgraded everyone with some proper speed, so they're not gonna be away from the action for very long. And you are also. What were you guys doing over here? Hmm? Watch the wind. <laughs> I think there were the old ones. Oh, and we get ourselves another uh, Triton journey. And I think this one is fucking off, considering uh, I shot a Torm off. Yep. Alright. Okay. okay. I'm not sure what he's up to. Oh, wow. That was some nasty hit. Oh boy. Okay, we are going to need math kits. Uh, you have a math kit. Right, I'm going to go about this. Let's first move you up. Consider we're going to use your flamer. Check this out. Check this out indeed. Okay, you stay in that position. You have a medkit. Let's see who else has a medkit. You have a medkit. There we go. And do you have to... Yes, yes, yes. Very good. So let's dash you towards that position. Use the medkit on our sniper over here. Talking about sniper. Hmm. Let's see, what weapon does he have? Oh, he's a marksman, so I... Oh, wait. There's easier ways to check that. Sniper. Uh, I think he also had a sniper. Yeah, they both had the same sniper. That's how we can take two shots of you. So let's see if we can neutralize one of the snipers. And I think this one is, is the easiest target. Well... I disabled the store, so let's see if we can finish him. Well, yes, yes, we can. All right, very good. It's always a good idea to work right these people. Hmm. Let's move you up a little bit so we can use your shotgun. See if we can take that arm off. Mm, that wasn't a great deal of ammo. I think most of it hit the shield. Which is a shame. Mm. Yeah, you don't got much of a shot either. Uh, what we can do is dash up here, move here, and then see what, what our shot is going to be. Let's see what they are now. No, I, th I think that's a better target, actually. Do we still got? No, fortunately. Oh, that's two action points. So yeah, makes sense that you can. All right. Uh, the two shots with you, so you can move. 
let's move you towards that position and let's move you in a position where you can start sniping next turn. Yep. Ah, there we go. Well, he actually only had to. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. Oh, I always love it when they dispense this bloody mist, man. Okay, well, at least we know where the sniper is. Oh, did, did we take his arm off? Well, I guess we did. Huh. Uh, let's take a look at your strength, actually. Can we see that anywhere? Is we need to do 50 damage to uh, remove that with a single bash. And, and I'm not sure if this guy is gonna cut it. Uh. Okay, yeah, 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 he is gonna cut it. Alright. And he still can shoot. So. There we go. Now, this one should take 50 damage from the combined bleeding and fire damage. Okay. What we could do is shoot this guy in the back. Actually, I don't think that's going to accomplish much, considering he's already trying to leave. What we can do, though, try to get rid of all of this uh, this mist by uh, using a fury missile. Yeah, I'm thinking, considering I want to get rid of him, most of all, considering this one is already going to die. Uh, he has no method of attacking us, so if he walks off the map, I really don't care. But, to get a shot at him, we need to, uh, yeah, take some risks, and I'm not a big fan of that. That's a, he has a sniper, right? Yeah, you can't use the sniper now. <laughs> uh... No, what? Might as well shoot at the Arthur on the time to retreat. Got some payback for her, considering she got some, some, some nasty wounds. I, I don't want to stand in here, considering this fire can spread. We already made sure that he cannot act of actually fire his gun. So, so let's stand over here to be a nuisance. And with you. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Firing the flame room might not have been uh, a good choice, considering now we can't actually move through these tiles. Alright, let's plunk down an overwatch with you. Okay, you can't actually do anything. Let's see what he's... Oh, uh, and he's gonna create some more mist. Yeah, and the fire spreads. Wait, is he in the fire now or not? Well, either way, we can still see him, so... <laughs> Sucks to be you, buddy. Uh. Wait, let's first check and see if we don't got any normal grenades on hand. Oh, we do got a poison grenade that we can use. I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna clear the, the, 
smoke as well or not, but let's let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Oh great. I did not consider that. Let's see if we can catch him with a war cry. Okay, so he is over here. Don't suppose we can catch him with a shot? Well, judging by all the plot, the plot, yes, 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 we can. Nice. Nice. Uh, I don't know the extent of his injuries now, though. Still has a turn. Uh, we still got plenty of people who have a turn. It's just uh, holy shit! What? Oh, because I have to run yet. I was wondering why are you so On my way. able to move or so, so much with that sniper? But uh, yeah, that answers that. Okay, I'm doing a quick aim, considering I want to be able to move into cover if this doesn't kill. Doesn't seem to do. All right. Watch this. I suppose we could <laughs> add some more fire to the right. Uh, he's already war cried, so we don't have to be afraid of him firing his weapon. Let's plunk down an Overwatch. Overwatch. And he's dead from bleeding damage. All right, but we aren't finished yet. Oh, hello, a siren. Okay, that's bad news. Yeah, okay. Now it is time to to use that uh, fury missile. Check this out. Actually, we still see, we still see her. So so how needed is it really? Let's first start and see if we can't take out her her head. Let's do this. Considering that's that's keeping our soldier mind control. But that was a nice hit on the head. You can already see her now, so we don't have to move with you. By the way, can't we just stun her and capture her? Let's see here. The Razor. We have the Hera. No. Let's first disable that head so we don't get a soldier mind control. Right, there we go. And I think we're gonna have to move you actually, because otherwise you're going to be uh, stunned. You can't actually do anything. Can we give you? Do we got onslaught available anywhere? Yep. Well, we did, but not anymore. All right. Maybe. I think we're just gonna have to go for the kill here. Oh yeah. Uh, kind of sucks that our soldier can't get out of the way, considering now we have to move to the side. But it still works. It still works. Some good damage, and you actually don't have 
enough action points to make a second sniper shot. So let's do it like this. Which kills her? Nice. All right. And we got another soldier to level seven. Very nice. Take to the field. Now we didn't loot anything, unfortunately. Uh, I think all, all these attacks on your bases should reveal the location where they came from. Or uh, that's what I've been told, but we didn't reveal anything. So, so unless it happened to come from here, which is distinctly possible, actually. It has 3,000 kilometers range, and this range is it's slightly over 2,500 kilometers away from me. So it's distinctly possible that that's where the attack came from. And that seems most likely. So, mark for death. Yes, yes, yes. Still got some more action points. Snipers go for will points rather quickly. Hey, we got recruits. What do we got here? An assault that has trooper. Yes, 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 yes. I am interested. And uh, I think we needed a second assault for our uh, new team as well. We already have a shotgunner, which is this one. Alright, let's recruit the soldier. And yeah, that thing's point. Yes, welcome to the team. And we already got some gear lying around for you, so let's equip him with that. I think we'll just give him uh, the standard, uh, standard armor suit, that's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. He only gets Trooper at level 5. So I think in the meantime, equipping him with a shotgun is fine. That means this squad would have two shotguns. But the idea was to make them a... Uh... Oh, actually, be nice. We've got a nest drag grenade lying around. Wait, can we actually make those? Let's see if they're on the reverse engineering list. Yeah, we haven't reverse engineered those yet. So let's... Let's not toss the only one that we got lying around the way. Uh, we do got an Odin grenade that we can give him, but you level up in the meantime. Let's also give you far silence because that's always good. And I think we are working on your your armor at the moment. So let's give you an Odin grenade. Uh, eating strength is decent for the recruit, or is that? What they come stop with. I thought it was 16, but I won't. Alright, let's see. Let's see. This team is free uh, to go about now, but our sniper in particular took some injuries. And considering you recouped them pretty damn fast at base, let's wait till they, they are fully healed. You are still flying back. Uh, you are sitting over here, and you are sitting down here when I haven't actually been doing anything with you, so let's see what goal we can find for you to do yeah i've looked around to see what uh, recruits and unless they uh no, they haven't updated yet i was looking around to to see if uh, any of the uh of the other fractions had any interesting assaults uh up for recruitment but uh i think i only saw one or two over level two and they only had their stock uh, builds. But I do see a lot of specialists around. Most notably technicians. There's technicians bloody everywhere. And here, for example, hey, we have a level 2 one. And I think this is one of the only ones that I saw that actually also has arms. Oh, do you watch your arms? No. Question is do I want to add a technician to this squad? And I'm, I'm inclined to say no. Because I think we need to add some firepower to the squad now. We have two assaults. We have a infiltrator, which is already not going to contribute that much in regards to damage. And neither is a priest. So we need to add some firepower to the squad. Um, I think I saw two heavies and both are level 1, which is far from ideal. Uh, there was the other one. I think that, yeah, down here. Also level 1. Hmm. What I could always do is just give a uh, heavy weapon to a class that isn't a, uh, what's it called, isn't a heavy. I, I'm still a little bit in the mindset that 
people have to be armed with weapons that are tied to their class. But even though it's not needed at all. Uh, I'm saving this one for the start of the next episode. We're advancing time a little bit. And, uh, and let's see. Uh, hey, there's actually a little unexplored site down here. Oh, what did we get? Let's see. Earthman Shield Bearer Prime. Nicely armored. Has no range attack. Holy shit, look at that help pool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. Okay. 28 wheel points and 16 movement. Hmm. Alright, so what do we got here? We got ourselves a range specialist, 23 movement. Uh, not a lot of arm, not a lot of health, and I'm decently armored actually. It doesn't look decently armored, but uh, yeah, it is. Alright. Yeah, that, that's an acid grenade, I think. Acid grenades, yeah. Uh, and a melee attack and no shield and no spitterhead and spitterhead organic grenade launcher. It's just a normal grenade launcher and a, and a virus machine gun. Literally full ranged. And wow, all of these are starting to become really well armored. So I am very happy that we have invested in some armor piercing tech because we are going to need it. So let's bring you back towards Phoenix Point. So we got some uh, defense around our base, and let's see what we just unlocked. Gorgon IA to Phoenix Laser PDW. Burst of 440 damage of it, range 20. Oh, wow. I think this is a lot better than the, the stock uh, PDW that you have. Scorcher anti tank turret. What I really dislike about these is that you can't check their stats unless you put them down in the field. And the Destiny Free Phoenix Laser Array and its ammo. I haven't gotten a chance to use any of these weapons in the first time that I played the game. So, to that end, I want to make a few and try them out. So, let's see. Let's start with one. Scorcher, Fawn, Gorgon, and a Destiny. Alright, fire steam burst of free, so let's already get a full magazine for the Destiny. It might be a good idea to trade some of our uh, food reserves over for something else. So, where are you? Actually, fly back. And let's trade. Food for, uh, yep. Let's do it like that. There we go. Oh, what's this? Oh. Nice trader. Alright. Uh, yeah. Let's see. No, no. Yes. Wait, then we'd we'll have to trade tech for... Uh... Okay, these literally have everything other than food, so that's a good place to trade. Okay, no hostile forces. And uh, small cash. Not bad. And did we discover anything else? Mm, don't think so. That's it. We can also move them over to the right. Okay, we did a vivisection on the mind fragger. So let's see what else they found. F needle tendrils. Yeah, that sounds very, uh, very fun. Alright, so we just got more damage for that. We didn't unlock any other uh, witches, did we? Nope. Alright. So, trade. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. And let's trade for food over here as well. Alright. I think we, have, we got ourselves a decent supply of stuff that we can work with. How does our manufacturing queue look? Mm, okay. Let's move one of these up. Yeah, do it. 
plug that in. All right. Uh, I think we've traded enough food because we do need to hold on to a little bit to feed our own troops. And we can't manufacture our own food just yet. That's uh, the stuff is on Anu uh, research. Uh, let's check up on our Manticore. Okay, you guys are fully healed up. So you're going to move in on to do this mission over here. You guys are also fully up here moving in to trade, which actually isn't needed anymore. So go back to base. I to go four, and you go to Phoenix Point to recuperate a little bit. And you guys are moving in to attack that lair, and that's where we're leaving off today. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. My name is Mullis, and I'll see you guys next time.